All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere occupants. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit, we're going to hop right into it. This is Proverbs chapter 28. Let's see, Proverbs chapter 28. We'll start at 9. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 9, and it reads, He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. The Israelites that are not trying, trying to take heed to the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, when they pray to the God of the Bible, it's an abomination. Are, are you not hearing what the scriptures are saying? Your prayer is an abomination. If you're saying that the laws are done away with, when you pray, your prayer is an abomination. You see? And the men that teach it, you're an, you're an abomination, man. Your prayers are not being heard. The people that's teaching this nonsense and the, and the Israelites that are taking heed to this nonsense, when you pray, you turn your ear away from hearing what the word is saying. And how does the word speak through men? On the highways and byways, giving you the correct doctrine according to the Bible. You turn your ear away from hearing this word. What does the scripture say? I, I look, I'm not saying it. What is the scripture saying? Even his prayer, when you pray, well, anything that you're praying for, look, look, even his prayer should be an abomination, man. All right? This is the heavenly father speaking who they even call God the most high Yahweh. You see, you turn away from hearing the law, statutes, commandments, others, Bible, the words, the, uh, the, you turn your ears away from hearing prophecy. Your prayer is an abomination. And listen to this, verse 10. Whoso causeth the righteous to go astray in an evil way, and that's what these false leaders are doing, these false prophets are doing. They're turning our people astray from the path of righteousness into an evil way, a way that's contrary to the words of the Bible, right? He shall fall himself into his own pit, the ditch that you did, you, the ditch that you're digging. You're going to fall into it. This scripture is saying, the ditch that you're digging, you false prophets, you're going to fall into it, man. you calling, you causing others to stray. You're causing the other Israelites. You're supposed to be for the good of Israel. Teaching them this word, bringing them right back to you. How about Shem Yahushua? But you're having them go astray into an evil path, into a path of destruction. Look, you got them going down that wide gate. Instead of the straight and narrow, instead of you teaching them the truth according to the Bible, you're pushing madness, man. And once again, Israel love it. You see, Israel love it. Pursuant to um, Isaiah, the 30th chapter, our people want to hear lies. They, they want to go down the path of death and destruction, right? It says, he shall fall himself into his own pit, but the, um, but the upright shall have good things in possession. The hopeful elect of the nation of Israel this pushing the, the truth according to the Bible. This pushing right things, holy things, good, goodly things according to the Bible. They're going to have good things in possession. They're not going to be lacking anything, but these false prophets, they're going to die. You see, teaching our people this matters, teaching our people that the laws are done away with. Let's get that right quick. Teaching the Hebrew Israelites that the laws are done away with when the laws ain't going to never be done away with. The laws are going to be put in our inward parts in the kingdom. Let's get this right quick. I got a couple of scriptures. I was, I was just thinking about it through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai on how bad it's going to get for these false prophets that are teaching nonsense. St. Matthew chapter 5. Look, look. You got these false prophets talking about some, um, and I'm going to click on it. You got these false prophets talking about, look, they're, they're promoting um, sin. They're, they're, these false prophets are actually promoting sin, Israel. Can you can you dig that? These false prophets, they really want our people to die. They're, they're digging pits and traps. and You see, the scriptures say the leaders cause them to err. St. Matthew 5, 17. Red letter, Lord, you how shall I speak? Who are they going to call Jesus, right? Think not that I am come to destroy the law. The law ain't never been done away with, and it ain't going to never be done away with. Never, ever. It's going to last throughout all eternity, right? Think not that I am come to destroy the law 
or the prophets. I came not to destroy, but to fulfill. The Lord said, I ain't coming to destroy the law. The law is righteous. Why would the Lord come and do away with righteous laws? Now, that don't make sense whatsoever, man. All right? You got guys, you know what I'm saying, pushing adultery, man. You got guys pushing forth illicit drugs. We got to keep naming these things. So fucking what, y'all, man. Excuse my language. So freaking what. These guys are mad when the Lord sent forth his service to rebuke and to correct them. You see, so what? St. Matthew 5, 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. The law ain't done away with, so you just can't live a careless life. The scripture tells us that what the scripture commands us to repent and convert. You can't stay the same. You got to become a new creature. Once you hear this word, things, the, the evil shit that you did yesterday, you can't do it today. And so forth and so on. Okay, we got to strive for perfection, right? Think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. And look, and this is in the New Testament. And if it was in the Old Testament, it's all one book. You, you're you not going to be able to keep getting around that that, that um, slothful, sluggish statement. You know what I'm saying? That that bogus statement. The, that's, that's the Old Testament. That, that, that's the New Testament. It's all one book. And, and once again, this is written in red. So this is Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, who they literally called Jesus, right? I am come. Look, look. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill, man. The wages, I want to get that too. The wages of sin is death, man. All right? The tr why, you, why do you think we're in the predicament that we're in now? Because we went the hell off. Romans 6. Romans the 6th chapter, which is the 24. Let's see. Bear with me. 23. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Remember, the Lord said, Whosoever turneth his ear away from hearing the law. The scripture tell you not to eat poor. You say, man, I ain't even trying to hear it. Scripture say not to mess with the next man's woman. You say, man, I ain't trying to hear it, man. Scripture say don't um do drugs. I ain't trying to hear it. Scripture say don't worship idols. I ain't trying to hear it, man. I'm tired of hearing it. So, and then the scripture say the laws are not grievous. What did the Lord? And all that is is transgression of the law. Okay. The scripture say man can't mess with man. Woman can't mess with woman. <laughs> Israel get real grievous. But what does scripture say? Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin, a, a wage is a reward, meaning someone is paying you, right? So that this is how the Lord is going to pay you, right? For all your wickedness, you Israelites, least ye repent. For the wages of sin is death. Death, Israel. You look, And then the thing about it, these pastors in the church, I'm going to just prove what sin is right quick. I'm going to come right back. I'm going to come right back. Let's just prove what sin is. First John chapter three, it said the wages of sin is death, right? Let's get it right quick. First John chapter three, first John chapter three, verse four. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is breaking the laws of the Bible, right? Which are not done away with. I read that. So let's go right back to Romans. I read that already. You're not going to be able to get around this. this shit. You got you you got Israelite groups actually teaching our people to go off, leading our people straight down the path of darkness. You see, down the path of death and destruction. Romans 6. Let's get it again. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. Transgressing the law equals to death, man. But the gift of of Yahweh is eternal life. But the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, our Lord, man. You see? Remember, the knowledge of wicked. I want, I want to get that too. Let's get Sarah. It's going to get Sarah. Let's see. I got to fix this thing too. I'm about to fix that. I didn't even want to do that, but let's see. Let's go back. Let's get Sirach, um Sirach 19. If they get it, let's see. Bear with me, Israel. Try something new. Multitasking. So just bear with me. Sirach chapter 19. 
Let's see. So Rock chapter 19, verse 22. I'm getting better at it. Let's look, a, stri a strict warning, Israel. You see, you can't live in wickedness and expect to get delivered. So Rock chapter 19, verse 22. The knowledge of wickedness. And that's what these false Israelite groups are teaching. The knowledge of wickedness. You see, they're not teaching you the knowledge of righteousness, which the Bible promotes. They're teaching you the, the knowledge of wickedness. What does it say again? So Rock chapter 19, also known as Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 19, verse 22. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. So when a man stands in front of you and tells you that you can mess with the next man's woman, that's not wisdom. When a man stands in front of you and tells you that you can do illicit drugs, just, just hit the block. The block is hot. The block is hot. Ha, ha. The block is hot. They're telling you to hit the block, right? And go get some illicit drugs. That's not wisdom, man. And we're going to prove what wisdom is. Neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence, man. You got a multitude of Israelites just standing around committing wicked acts. That's not prudence. That's not wisdom. That's not wise. That's not wise at all. Let's get this. The, look, remember, the knowledge of wickedness. Oh, oh yeah. Um, graven images. Witchcraft. Our people pushing it all. They're pushing witchcraft. They're pushing idolatry. They're pushing adultery. They're, they're pushing sin. Which the wages of sin equals to death. We just read that. We just read that, right? Let's get um, let's get Job right quick. Quick little lesson through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, Lord willing, the elect is edified. You see? Hey, look, you look, you either get it or get it. Get it. Job 28. You either get it or get it. Get it. Job 28. At 28. And it reads. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, that is wisdom fearing the lord you want you want wisdom then fear the lord I, I'm, I'm gonna say it again you want wisdom we want wisdom fear the lord and to depart from evil is understanding the israelites that are promoting evil they have no understanding all right and this is what the scriptures are saying those israelite groups that are pu pushing forth evil wickedness they have no understanding no matter how flashy they look all right Stop looking through the lens, the corner eyes, Israel. You see, be more spiritual. Pray for more discernment. I mean, and it's just like easy, man. It's like one plus one equals two, man. This person wicked as hell or not. The scriptures tell you one thing, and then the next man that you're listening to is telling you something else. That person is being wicked, man. You see, Job 28 and 28. And it's a man, an Israelite man, woman, and child. He said, Behold, the fear of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That is wisdom. Because the Lord is coming back angry and pissed the hell off. Pursuant to Isaiah the 13th chapter, crude, full of wrath and anger. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof. Out of it, a whole lot of Israelites are going to burn, so come. And you keep following them. You keep following Israel. You're going you're gonna to realize. How much serious trouble you, you got yourself into, man. But it's going to be too late for the majority of y'all. And to depart from evil is understanding, man. You see? You see? What did I want, man? Shh. I got a couple more scriptures, and then I'm going to wrap it up. Remember, the Lord heareth not sinners. As a matter of fact, let's get, let's get another one. Let's get St. John. Let's get St. John. Because look, the Lord wants us to constantly warn our people. Constantly, constantly warn them. Like Noah did. Because the warning is going to stop sooner or later. St. John 9. St. John chapter 9. Bear with me. Going through it. St. John chapter 9. Listen to this. Cause you, look, you got these fake pastors, these church pastors. So, um, the Lord, you know what I'm saying, hates his sin, but he loves the sinner. What? What? They, look, they promoting wickedness, man. They, they want our people. They're going, they digging a ditch. But the Lord said, y'all going to fall into it, man. The ditch that you're digging, you're going to fall into it, man. Let's get this. St. John 9, 31. Know ye. Now we know that Yahweh. 
Bahashim Yahweh Shai heareth not sinners. Remember, we read earlier their prayer is an abomination, which is a wicked 50 act. Now we know that the Most High Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai heareth not sinners, man. All right? So the Lord ain't hearing these false Israelite groups. Yeah, they talking a whole lot, but the Lord ain't hearing them. But if any man be a worshiper of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and doeth his will, look, look, if you do the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, look, this is clear because the Lord don't just want us to be hearers of the word. I'm going to see if I can get that next too. It says, if any man be a worshiper of the Most High, that's what the Lord is looking for, true worshipers. Not just hearers of the word, but do us also. We we must rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our ability, man. You see? And doeth his will, him he heareth. You see? The Israelites that are taking heed to this word to the best of your ability, you're the ones that's being heard by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. You see? And don't let nobody tell you any different, man. Let's go here. James. I got one more after this. Just quick little lesson, man, through the spirit of your house. This is this is what we gotta teach. Cause remember, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get it. So we're gonna get it. James, James chapter one. Um, we we'll start at twenty one. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity. You can't just keep being wicked, Israel. We can't continue on in wickedness and expect to get delivered from 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 death, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? That's what's gonna be. Um, that's what's gonna pretty pretty much be in the air soon. Come, that's what's in the air now. You see, that football star he got ran over by a damn dump truck. What's it? What's the odds of that, man? The, the Lord get you, boy. When you when you had the when you had the height. You had the height, you know what I'm saying? You had the top of the pinnacle. You know what I'm saying? It's, it seems like life can't get any better than the God of the Bible. Get you, man. One way or the other. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity, an access of doing too much, of naughtiness too, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your soul. But be ye doers of the word. And not hearers only. Be doers of the word and not hearers only. Deceiving your own selves, man. You see? Deceiving your own selves, man. Let's see. The Lord said, if you're just a hearer and not a doer, you're deceiving your own self. You ain't deceiving nobody else. You de you deceiving your own self. Let let's see. Matter of fact, two two more, and I'm going to wrap it up. Jake attention span through, man. Just look, man. They can't listen to a lesson no longer than five minutes, man. Something really wrong with Jake, though, man. Listen, let's go back to St. Matthew, the fifth chapter. St. Matthew, chapter five. I want to jump down to verse 19. <clears throat> let's see. Let's get this. St. Matthew 5. In 19, and it reads, a little red letter, Lord Yahweh shall speak, and who they call Jesus, right? Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments, because everybody's saying that they're done away with, right? Every pastor, these false prophets, and then they, these, one thing about these false prophets, they always talk about the law, 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 but then they they promote breaking the law. Which which one is it? You believe in the law or you don't? Which one is it? Because the scriptures say a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, right? St. Matthew 5 and 19 and it reads, Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so. And ain't these false prophets teaching men to break the commandments of the Bible? And look, they're telling you to go commit adultery and mess with the next man's woman. If someone slaps you or someone does you wrong, these false Israelite groups are telling you to go get some drugs first and then go find that man, woman, and papa. You see? So they're teaching Pete, they're teaching Israelites to go the hell off, man. You break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so. So, so, so you can call the Lord anything. That's breaking the commandments, man. You see? And shall teach men so you look look you tell you telling Israel you know what I'm saying to drink the juice you know what I'm saying to to get cuttings in their flesh and you, and you know what I'm going you know where I'm going with that you tell the Israelites to take that grain of rice yeah, that's breaking the commandments of the Bible right he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven when the kingdom is established on the face of the earth 
You're gonna be called least in the kingdom, and you're gonna come. You're gonna die most definitely, and then you're gonna you're gonna die a horrible death, and then you're gonna come back through the loins of the elect of the nation of Israel, and you're gonna be ashamed for a period of time, and you're gonna be called least in the kingdom, right? It says, but whosoever shall do, not just being a hearer of the word, but a doer also, shall do and teach them. You see. You, you tell Israel that the laws are not done away with. You tell them to rehearse them to the best of your ability. You bring out Judges 5 and 11. Rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? The same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven, which might I add will be played out upon the earth, man. Okay? And I got one more after that. I got one more, then I'm going to wrap it up, man. Remember, the Lord said, every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. You see, we're, we're held accountable for what we teach, man. I, I don't know if y'all knew that or not. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know that or not. But the man is teaching this Bible. You, you're, we're held accountable for what we teach, man. Can't, can't just be winging it. Can't just be teaching anything. Um, this is um, Ezekiel 18. Let's see. And I want to blow it up so you can most definitely see it. Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 4. Behold, which means to look. This is the heavenly father speaking. Behold, Ezekiel 18 and 4. Behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the father, so also the soul of the son is mine. The soul that sin, if we brung out what sin was, transgressed, man, the words of the Bible. You see, we must at least rehearse the righteous acts. We can't push this nonsense that these false prophets are pushing. It says the soul that sinneth, it shall die. Die, man. But then you, once again, in closing, you got these false prophets, you know what I'm saying? These pastors, these pork chop eating pastors, man. You know what I'm saying? Talking about the God of the Bible hates the sin, not the sinner, man. The soul that sinneth, it shall die, man. So I just wanted to remember the um, the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, man. I just want to bring out some through the spirit of your how about Shemiah was shot according to the Bible, man. It's gonna get bad out here. You see, it's gonna get real bad out here. And you false Israelite groups that was pushing that nonsense, man. The scripture just said what's gonna happen to you. The soul that sinned, it shall die. Shalom.